Now, tying some olive adult midge patterns this morning, and this is one of the, the ones I'm tying. I'll show you a couple. This is this is a darker version, slightly darker by the wing. Um, basically, you can see the dark wing or the grey wing, rougher body. This one, it's got a lighter wing. Uh, it's got the opal mirage in the back. To see, there are different colours combinations you can use. As I say, I'm going to. I'm going to actually tie this one here, uh, this one, show you how to tie this one. Hook choice is dial up to yourself. This one I'm using, this is the, the TMCO, it's the 2487. It's a barbed version, you can buy the debarbed, or the barbless, sorry. Or you can debarb these, which that's what I normally do. Uh, I always debarb when I go to fish. Now, thread, I'm using the uni thread, and the O and chartreuse. Just adds a highlight to the fly and brightens the dressing at certain points. So what we're going to do is run the thread to, we're in line with the point of the hook. We've got a, a small silver wire. This is a venured wire that's number 27. So we wind, we're catching the way down. Much easier to catch on the way down round the bend to this point here and then come up about say six seven turns or so just to form a small tag at the back now what i'm using here is this is a, a light olive it's a bleached and dyed pheasant tail from vineyards and it's been dyed a light olive so i'm going to use the longer fibers on this side for the body so remove it from the stem of the, the feather what I'm going to do is hold the butt ends, the thick ends, come around with a loose turn and pull it into the tips of the fibres to that point and then we can tie them in. Then we can run up until we're in line with the point of the hook. Now the pheasant tail fibre is much fine, it's, it's not as strong, so to protect it I wind it the opposite way then cross rub it with the wire on the way up and the standard way I wind my thread and the wire which is away from myself so we get to this point to tie it off we basically come over the pheasant tail fibre and then do a turn on the hook to lock it in do the same again now you could repeat that you can do it again but I'm happy with that then bring the wire up just ribbon the fly three four five or six times Make sure that's secure, come back up, ready to tie in. What we're going to tie in is some Opal Mirage. Now you can use a, a medium or a large in this case. This is a large. I prefer the large in the size anyway. So it's a size 14, 12s, 10s would do the large, no problem. When you go smaller, 16s, maybe 18s, you're looking at medium. So what we do is we catch this on the top. Again, make sure it's secure. Other times I like to get just a tiny wee stretch at this point, make sure you've tied it in first though. Just a wee, wee stretch, that just helps to fold it over. Now, the wing, I'm using this as a, the, the bottom of a Chinese uh, crock neck, and it's a creamy colour, as you can see, you can use white. I use grey as well, uh, for the darker one, but this is a nice colour. So I'm looking for a couple to represent the wings. Just take two off. There's plenty of these wee feathers. So there is there's any amount. So you can tie a lot of flies with one of these wee caps. So I've got two off to make sure they're the same length. You're seeing the underside. Just double checking the length. Oh, no the problem, I've actually got three here. So I'll take that one away. So then we'll get the two, make sure they're the same length. Now I'm going to open it out to near enough the point where I'm going to tie it in. So you're looking for a wing length, round about, just slightly by the bend of the hook, just slightly. So we want to tie that either side, one either side of the thorax cover, or the opal mirage. So there's our length, hold that, 
just come down with a silos turn and then tighten up on the second. Totally get that wrong because you can see one's one short and the other. So I'm going to go back, it's quite easy to go back. Make sure they're lined up, I'm not sure what I did there. This happened, so we go back in. Make sure we're lens right this time, hold them, come round. Couple of turns and tighten up and do another one just to make sure. There we go. That's certainly a bit better than the last time. Just check the length. If you're slightly longer on one side, I think I'm okay actually. That's be fine. Then kind then we can tighten up. Trim away the excess. Now what I'm gonna do here is this is a glow bright floss. This is number six. It's a hot orange. We've got a strand line here ready to tie. I'll use this as a small highlight at the back. I'm going to catch this in, two or three turns, and then wind. Just to warm it up at the back, that's fine. Again, we can then trim the weight, so that down for our next fly. Do a wax on my thread, make sure there's plenty of grip. So you give yourself plenty of room to work with. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to use an actual dubbin. This is a friend of mine in the Czech Republic who makes this. This is an actual dubbin. This one here. Now this is a green, a nice, a nice olive. So what I'm going to do is take some of it. just, And I'm going to add a tiny bit of, you could use glister or light bright. Just mix it in. Just gives it a small highlight. So then we can dub it on and slide it up. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm going to take the thread down a bit towards the eye. Give yourself at least a good head. Set a distance from the from the eye before you start winding. I'm winding up towards the orange to form a nice thorax. Coming back through. Stroking back the fibres with your fingers. Anything going forward, you can hold them back. Just take your time. You, you can encourage some of the fibres down either side with some Velcro. But I'm going to put a hackle in front. But let's say before I do that, I'm just going to check how my thorax cover is going to sit. That's fine. Just checking everything is okay. Now I've got a nice a light done head neck. This one's from Whiten. Um, there'll be some one some line here, so red to use. Now I'm going to show you this. They're nice and long. These hen hackles, and I only use one turn. Now I've already used the tip of this already. So what I'm going to do is use it again because you're only using one turn. So you'll get a good three or four flies out of a single feather. Pulling some of the fibres forward and then trimming it so I've got something to grip. Make sure there's wax on your thread, so you've got that more grip there. Stall for it. Two or three turns, the front of the feather is facing over the eye. So what we're going to do is just come round, catch it, fold it back, so it's tucked back, trim away, Now some of the other feathers are they're a bit more denser, what will, one turn is enough. So now what I've done now is I'm going to actually encourage the fibres down either side. So when I bring my thorax cover over, I can then catch it in. Two or three turns. Then we fold it back. Just form a head. Just fold it back so it tuck it back. The what happens here, don't overdo it because the this will lighten up the head a bit over the, the mirage. Come in and whip finish. Just tidying the head up while I'm doing that. And don't be shy with a head of on a midge pattern. Catch the edge of it with the scissors and it should tear. There you are. And there you go, that's a small olive. Uh, adult midge or a version. Just 
going to get some varnish so we then just tap the head all the way around it's a wee bit heavy that's varnish but anyway we'll, we'll use it we'll use a piece of wire just to clean the, the eye out don't be shy with putting the varnish on around the eye because you want to make sure that's that's the head's nice and shiny. What I'm doing here with my finger is just cleaning the eye of the hook. There we are. There you go. That's just small light olive adult midge. The wee aiming point underneath. The mirage on top. As I say you can use change it. To show you that there's one here with the fezzy tail over the top slightly rougher. It's got a wee hot spot again underneath. The pheasant tail fibre has actually been pulled back like I did with the, the Mirage but I've trimmed it so it gives impression of just the head of the, the midge itself. So anyway I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, give them a go. Tie them different colours. Tie them all the colours. Dark olives and as well as black, brown, any colour mid you see in the water, it's, it's a good style this. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe, it, it, it does help. And, uh, and thanks for watching.